Hello friends, my name is Surreal Emil and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 2. Today we are continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 4. In today's episode we are going to be doing the Clubman Cup and my car for today. Well, I'm going to use the prize car I won in the last episode. I'm going to use this Mazda RX-7 GTC uh, because I like it and it's got a lot of power and I think it will be good for the Clubman Cup. So the Clubman Cup's another one, like, kind of like the Sunday Cup, you don't get any prize cars from this event and you can essentially turn up in whatever the bloody hell you want to. As you can see, all of the um, events are free of horsepower restrictions, so we can literally bring whatever car we wanted. Uh, we could bring in a Scudo or an Aspas F1 if we really wanted to, uh, but I don't have the money for those yet, unfortunately, so yeah, uh, I can't do that. Uh, the reason I'm cover covering the Clubman Cup today is because the next two challenges, the Midship Challenge and the Four Wheel Drive Challenge, are, uh, well, I'm not too sure on the Four Wheel Drive Challenge, uh, by the way, a uh, Mini Fiat Cinquecento, a Lotus Esprit, uh, a Lotus Elise, sorry, a Fiat Barchetta and a Lotus Alain, because, yeah, sure. Anyways, um, so, yeah, um... <laughs> The midship challenge is really difficult from what I remember, like specifically that last race of it is, uh, it, it's not fun. And the, um, also the four wheel drive challenge, I don't actually remember if it's difficult or not, however I looked at it and the last event for that, the horsepower restriction is uh, 690 horsepower. Uh, which leads me to believe there's going to be some extremely powerful four wheel drive car show up. Um, I'm still not sure what sort of vehicle I want to use for the midship challenge. I think I'm going to go for the uh, the midship challenge first because I think I've got more chance of beating that, but I'm still not sure. I, like, I don't know what car I'm going to turn up to that uh, with or anything yet. Um, so I decided I'd go do the Club and Cup. So, oh, by the way, uh, the body on this car is ridiculously glitchy. Uh, you may notice, like, um, if I turn, you can see the wheels popping through the uh, the bodywork and stuff on that front corner. I don't know why it does that uh, on this car, but it does, which is pretty horrendous. But hey, it's 1999, what do you expect? Everything was terrible in 1999. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, not really sure what car I'm going to use for midship. Uh, Four-wheel drive challenge, I have a rough idea of the car I want to use. Hopefully I'll have enough money for it. If I do the midship challenge before uh, I do the four-wheel drive challenge, then I will definitely have enough money uh, for the car I want to use. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the midship challenge, uh, the fun thing with actually doing that is that will then actually give me a nice way to uh, earn income from this game. Because, uh, let's say I really wanted to earn money in this game, like, right now, it would uh, be a case of me doing probably the... Uh, rear wheel drive challenge, maybe like the last race of that where I unlock this RX-7 uh, Just keep boosting that over and over again uh, It's a pretty terrible way to make money. It's about you earn 20 grand every two minutes Oh, by the way, uh, the mini came in first apparently it beat a Lotus Elise because logic uh, Lotus Alan came in fourth the Fiat Barchetta came in fifth and the Fiat Cinquecento came in six uh, Six with uh, it was six seconds behind there we go. I can push some words out I apologise if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I am ill, um, so yeah, uh, voice might be a little bit all over the place, Yeah, so I do apologise for that. So yeah, um, <laughs> the Fiat Chinky Cento being in this race, I am, um, uh, th there's going to be a few Fiats in this Let's Play because this game has some right cracking Fiats in it, uh, and I really, really, really want to use them. Um, to be honest with you, like the next page of events we got, by the way, we're going to Grindelwald for our next place, uh, next race, place, race, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're going to Grindelwald. Uh, we haven't been here yet uh, in the Let's Play, so that's pretty fun. But yeah, um, <laughs> I am definitely going to be using some of the Fiat's in this Let's Play because it has some fantastic Fiat's in this game. Uh, and that's really what I love about it. I just love, you know... The fact that this game has some right amazing vehicles in it. Oh, by the way, in this race, uh, the competition has definitely stepped up. We have a Mercedes CLK 320, a Lancer Delta Integrale, a Jaguar XJR, a TVR, um, the convertible version of the server. I forgot what it's called. I think it's the Chimera. Uh, and Blue Thing. I think that's a Peugeot 406 Coupe, but don't quote me on that. Uh, Drifting! I think it might... Yeah, that's... Is it a Peugeot 406 Coupe? I don't know. 
it looks like Voxel Calibra, I've got to be honest, but the car is not in this game. It is indeed a Peugeot 406 Coupe. A pretty cool car, the 406 Coupe. Um, I'm not really going to use it because it's, well, it's a front-wheel drive car. It costs like 50000 I think, or so much stupid like that. It's ridiculously expensive. Um, for the same price as that um, Peugeot, you can get an Audi S3, which has a bit more power in its four-wheel drive, so it handles infinitely better. So, yeah. Um, do, don't buy the Peugeot 406 Coupe, Gran Turismo 2, top gear, top tip. Anyways, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the cars I get to use in the, in the next few episodes of this Let's Play. To be honest with you, I just really want to get through like this first page of events, because it's fairly generic stuff, you know, it's from front engine, rear drive challenge, and the mid engine, rear drive challenge, and the four wheel drive challenge. As soon as we get through there, we have some amazing events. Uh, the first one's going to be key car events, which is going to be fantastic. I know exactly what car I'm using for that. There's going to be the Global Compact Cup, there's Roadsters, um, there's Wagon Racing later on. Uh, the hilarious thing about Gran Turismo 2 is, <laughs> um, technically I uh, shouldn't, like, if I really wanted to just cheese this game, like, beat it in under an hour, the absolute best way to do that is uh, very, very simple, because, like, when it says, like, oh, um, World Roadster Cup, or the uh, Wagon Cup, you don't actually have to turn up in wagons or roadsters, you can turn up in whatever the hell you want. Um, I think uh, the drivetrain challenges are restrictive, but that's it. Oh, and the other thing is, the only limit on the cars is what horsepower you've got, like, you can use whatever tyres or anything you want. Uh, which, to be honest with you, is one of those things that really irritates me about, like, modern-day Gran Turismo, where it's like, oh, you can only be on, like, there's there's a seasonal event currently in Gran Turismo 6, I actually rage quit Gran Turismo 6 the other day, because it was really irritating me. Because there's, like, this seasonal event where it's like, you must be on comfort soft tyres only. And it's like, hmm, yeah, uh, that's not happening, please don't spin out, um, yeah. <laughs> Apparently the Lancer Delta is the fastest car, where's the TVR? Unless it's like the 4 litre, because the TVR 4 litre in this game has no power. It has like 230 brake horsepower, I think, which is nothing. Um, this RX-7, in case you're wondering, it has uh, almost 300. I I would show the information tab, I don't believe this car actually has an information tab. Uh, tab, 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 whatever. Um, <laughs> my English is completely and utterly going to crap today. Anyways, it was the Lancer Delta in second, the TVR came home in third, in fourth we had the CLK, in fifth it was a Jag XJ Sport 3.2, don't remember that car being in the game, and in last place was the Peugeot 406 Coupe, so pretty much about how you'd expect that race to be won really, I mean the Delta perhaps shouldn't have won, but eh, whatever, it is what it is. Anyways, we get some more money, we don't get prize cars for this event, as I just said, which is great. Anyway, we head to Rome City Course for the last race in the Club and Cup. I'm hoping I can win this race stock. Um, I'm not too sure, to be perfectly honest with you. Because uh, the competition in this race can be very, very feisty. Okay, we have a Lancer Delta, a TVR, a Jaguar XJR, a Nissan GTR, and a BMW 850 CSI. CSI? Is this? It might be a CSI, actually, for all I know. I don't really recall. Anyways, yeah, um, the competition isn't nearly as bad as it could be, to be fair. That TVR is shifting, though. Uh, I'm assuming that's like the 4.5 or the 5 litre, uh, which is ridiculously powerful. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to show you all the TVRs in this game because they have pretty much all the different engines you could get uh, with the TVRs in this game. Um, and some of them are like woefully underpowered and then there's some of us like um, the Cerbera 5 litres quicker than the Speed 6, which I thought the Speed 6 was the fastest. Well, maybe the Speed 6 weighs less perhaps? I don't really know. Either way, this TVR is quicker in a straight line, but I think I may be quicker through the corners when I can actually turn. Um, 
Other than that, like, the TVR seems to be the only real threat in this race. Um, I have probably more power than most of the cars in this event, which is, um, yeah, interesting to say the least. Ooh, go for it there, there we go, excelente. Around the inside of the TVR and going down the straight. Now, this is where the TVR probably has the straight line speed on me. Um, to be fair, the GTR is uh, not quite as aggressive as, as, as I was expecting him to be. Um, GTR has uh, a little bit less power than me, but he does have his four-wheel drive traction. Um, that was a really good line through that corner, I think. Although we are coming up to this corner, which pretty much every Gran Turismo player hates, because no one can ever get this corner right. It's one of those corners uh, which the AI can take much, much quicker than you can for reasons that aren't quite clear. Uh, but then again, like I really like the rope circuit, and there's a lot of places on this track where you can be much quicker than the AI. Uh, like through there, if you get that correct, you can flat out through that corner, unless you're an idiot like me and you can't. Uh, there's a BMW 840 behind me. I believe, is it the, it's the 840 in this game, I'm pretty certain. Um, again, that's another one of those uh, cars which, at least from what I, s I have seen, has no power whatsoever. Um, it's also 100,000 uh, credits in this game, which is just ridiculous uh, for the sort of car it is. Like, it should not be costing nearly that much. To be fair, I think when it was first launched, it didn't cost... I, it, it may have been like 50,000, I think, if that, for the 850. Don't get me wrong, it's an awesome car and all, but it's extremely heavy, and it's not particularly powerful. Yeah, but then again, I don't know, maybe it's really good upgraded or something, I don't really know. I haven't really played around with the 840 in this game. I've played around with the 740, which is in this game. Also, uh, no BMW M cars are in Gran Turismo 2, because reasons. Um, the M3, like, the E36, which should technically be in this game, and I believe the E39... Uh, M5 should be as well, uh, they're not. I think the fastest 3 series is a 328i, and the fastest 5 series is a 528i. Uh, and then there's the 740 and the 840. For whatever reason, uh, maybe Plythony, like really didn't like BMWs um, when they put them in this game or something. Uh, but there you go anyways. That race was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Anyways, the leaders were the Chimera came in second, the XK8 came in third, the Skyline GTR came in fourth, the Lancer Delta came in fifth, and it was a BMW 840, although it was not the CSI, it was only a CI. Uh, because, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know why I called it the CSI. Um, <laughs> commentary is not going well today, as you can probably tell. Anyways, we have 44,000 credits to find me a car for the midship challenge. I think uh, the midship challenge is going to be one of those where I spend a hell of a lot of time looking for a vehicle. Uh, what I do is I actually like go through all the dealerships and stuff and actually hunt for the car off camera, uh, just so I don't ha you don't have to sit through all of that bollocks. Uh, but yeah, anyways, in the next episode, I'm going to be tackling the midship challenge, and of course, because we were doing the Clubman Cup, there are no prize cars, so yeah. Uh, but unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Rail Mill, and until next time, a farewell.